and welcome. Look what I got to unbox today. It's the Grand Stable, the clubhouse, or whatever Slate call it. So I'm just gonna open it and pour out everything. Look at all this stuff and I'm gonna start by sorting it all out in piles uh, according to what it is and then I'll see you when I have done that. Okay, so I've got everything organized in piles. It may not seem like that but I assure you I know what's going on there. And I brought out the front hair so I'm gonna start with putting in the like flower or these are the ones that you hang the blankets on okay so we got these railings on and i also put um some of the pictures that's gonna go inside the stable and now we're gonna put it on this big humongous base plate so i think we're gonna go and do that off camera and we're also going to put on some of the ball pieces so see you then so we put in the second floor and some of the walls uh, of camera and now we're going to put in the base for the, all of the stalls in the stable so they are very simple to just click in and now we're gonna put on root pieces so they are also very simple you just put them on there and they will click into place and same thing on the other side so yeah and now we're gonna put on the big roof piece and it also goes on very simple like that and of camera we're now gonna build all of the stalls here are what the stall pieces look like and we'll see you when they are all built so we finished all the stalls and now we're just gonna put them in like this they are a bit hard to click in so we're gonna do it off camera and <laughs> we'll see you when we have done that um yeah okay so everybody we're now gonna put the doors on the stables so i'm just gonna click them in and look at this looks so realistic and cute with the details and now it's time for the main windows and so we're gonna just i hope that they're easy to click in so we're clicking them in and look at that now we have almost the whole main section of the part we're just missing the upper door and then it's time for the main doors so i'm gonna put on the main doors of camera and of camera i'm also gonna put on the little lights and yeah i think that's it i'm gonna assemble the flower boxes of camera also so i'll see you when i have done that so now i'm just gonna put in these really cute flower boxes and i love to build these kind of things when the build really starts to come together so now you see this is looking a whole lot like a cute farm stable kind of thing see if i can get those attached so yeah 
but now you know that there are gonna come some extra stalls so I think I'm gonna assemble that off camera and I'll see you when that's done now I thought I would show you the process of building one of these stalls since we have built multiple of them this is not gonna be a full-on stall this is just like a little wash off area but you build it the same so you start with the roof make sure it's on there and then this door mechanism it works like you push it in and then it's stuck so it doesn't come out and then we attach it super easy and then on this upper door they need all of them have stickers so I'm gonna put that on like that and then I put it all together and now we're almost completely finished with this tile. It's just one of the, these painful things to put on. So I think I'm gonna leave this to off camera and but you get the idea of how to build one of these styles. These rectangular ones are very hard to get in place. But look how big this table is everybody. Um so I'm gonna cut here and then I'll prepare for the next part of the video. Okay, so now it's time for all the clutter. As you can see, the stable is finished behind me. Um, but first I'm gonna show you how to build one of these hay bales. So the set comes with four and they're really easy to assemble. You just put them like that and press and yeah. You get two hay bales and Two of each kind and then we're gonna start with all of this clutter so I'm of course gonna start with the horses my favorite kind of animal so we're gonna start with the horse and this is the it usually says in the packaging what kind of horse it is. I can't find it. But it usually says. But I don't remember, but I think it's a quarter. I actually have no idea. Judging based of looks, it could be a... Or this one's maybe a but it doesn't matter so this horse is beautiful I love her so the stable comes with three stalls two normal size and one a little bit bigger for mare and foal so this stall belongs to this horse I'm gonna put up some of the hay bales, bales around here so I, my plan is to like clutter up the stable as we go and now it's time for the other horse this is a Tennessee walker this one said on the packaging I don't know why the other one didn't but this one is a Tennessee walker and it's the normal Tennessee Walker mold from Slake, just in different colors. But I actually think I like this coloration more than the actual one. And this here horse also comes with a fold, Tennessee Walker fold. And it's very cute. I actually have this mold of a foal already, but it's nice to have some different color variations. 
So yeah. And now we'll take all of these color pieces. So these are the like standard clutter piece pieces that are just for practical storage and this one is the wind blower thing it's the you know what i mean and then everybody of course gets a feeder so i'm gonna put that into everybody's box okay the ground is not very good the hay that came with the set is very slippery for the horses that don't even balance that well on carpet to stand on but it's okay and then of course it comes with one of these it's like you can hang a saddle or a it's usually for halters so you just put them on there I'm gonna have to move this ladder a little bit but there's no horse in that stall so it's okay yeah and then we also have some water bowls necessities for these horses so you have an extra stall that what comes with the stable so that's pretty nice actually and now we're moving on to Hmm. Um, we're gonna do the saddle rack next. So it's pretty simple to build. You, this material is great because it's very hard to break and it's a very stretchy plastic. So I can just stretch it all around the edges and then we'll get a nice saddle holder. I'm really sad that this set didn't come with any of the new saddle holders that looks like horses. But I'm gonna unbox these. This are uh, is the blankets and her pillows and sleeping bags also. So if it would come out please yes yeah so we got it all out of the packaging so this is is her name i can't remember what the character's name is it doesn't say on the bag this is hannah And I don't, this is, this is Lisa, her name is Lisa, right? Yeah, so this is her sleeping bag and this is her horse blanket. So I'm gonna put that one there. Actually, I'm gonna fold it up and put it there. So like that. And her sleeping bag, of course, goes up here. And the same with Hannah's sleeping bag. But this is interesting. They're made of totally different material. This one is soft. And this one's... It has, like, a fabric coat on it. And they also get matching pillows. Super cute. And then these. I love these. So these are... I'm gonna show you. These work. These are official official slake saddle pads. So now the saddles don't have to come with saddle pads that don't work and like yeah. So I put both of the bridles here and then I put also up a saddle. And now I 
we'll do the characters now. So first up is Lisa. And her skin have actually turned a little bit darker, I noticed. Her pants are dark, but her skin actually turned a little bit darker when... And her hair also has changed. But it's okay. I will still love her. But yeah, I liked the old Lisa way more. And now it's time for Hannah. And she is actually my favorite of all the girls. I just like her aesthetic and she is like the ultimate farm girl. <laughs> so she's my absolute favorite. This is not my first Hannah doll. But it's my the first one that's this outfit. I don't think this is her main outfit because it's her main outfit is like white hair and stuff, right? So they're not wearing their commercial outfits with this, but it's okay. And now it's time for more of the grooming and stable cleaning stuff. So of course we got a broom and a pitchfork and if the pitchfork wanna stand and then we have some bridles it i think they both belong to this this is a full bridle and this is the one that hannah uses so i'm gonna go ahead um i'll put them here for now because they don't want to go on there so I'll put them there and then we got two riding helmets as casual. I'll put them right there. And then we got also two grooming brushes and they will go right there. Somebody groomed a horse and just left them on the floor. We're getting to the end of this, I promise. But now we got our... Oh, these are the tiny friendship bracelets that never fit on their hands. So I'm going to try to put one on on camera right now. But I, it won't go on on camera first try. Because they ain't stretching the way they need to be stretching. But, oh, this one actually went on softly. But I think the friendship bracelet are kind of ugly i'm sorry to the person that designed them but they're ugly and if they want to go on ugh. so like that and now they're both wearing their friendship bracelets really cute And now, oh, we got um some horse poop, so I'm gonna put that in the stall. And then, of course, we got some plates and mugs for the sleepover, so that you can drink co hot coca and eat cookies. And then we got some pig food. That's interesting. This. This well, stable doesn't come with any pigs, but we have pig food. Very interesting. On the pitchfork fell, of course. I'm gonna put it back there. And then we got a super, super cute rat. So I'm just gonna put it right there. And now all the horses are getting some apples. And the carrots will go right there and there's a bucket that comes with the stable of course so that you can mock out the stalls so very cute and then it's just one item left a 
and this is a kitten it's very cute I have so many kittens in my stable but this one gotta be one of my favorites it can sit here and play with the grooming brushes so now we're all done with the stable and in the end of this video i'll put some pictures and videos showing what the table looks like but thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time so look at this i just looked at the package and it's supposed to be horse food i thought it was odd that they sent me pig food but now we got pig food uh let me know if this happened to you but I just had a very good laugh about it, so I thought I'd share. But now, on to the pictures.